New year, new you. Whether you're in the market to buy your first car, or maybe you're just browsing, trying to prepare yourself for the future. Whatever the case may be, welcome to today's video, which is a compilation of the top 10 most affordable cars right now in South Africa. I will be giving you the total cost price of each vehicle, as well as an estimated monthly installment if you are going to be financing it. My name is Nogutle Kumalo, and I'm super excited to have you on this channel. My name is Nogutle Kumalo and I'm a personal finance creator. Some of the videos I've made include how to buy shares, top 10 affordable cars, how to file your taxes, side hustles, interviews, you name it, I've done it. Note, these videos do not constitute financial advice. My aim is to plant the idea, it's up to you to water it. And if you enjoy my content, please tip me with a like, comment and subscription. Alright, so the way I'm going to do this video is in three easy steps. Firstly, I'm going to give you the assumptions that I've used when I was calculating these amounts. Number two, I'm going to give you the rundown of these cars. So brace yourself. Let's see what's coming in at number one and what's coming in at number 10. And then lastly, number three, I'll be giving you alternatives because some of these cost prices might seem a bit, um, you know, absurd. So stick around. Don't worry. I will be telling you how you can get around this figure if you have a slightly smaller budget than what I've told you. All right, let's get into the video. So my assumptions in this video are as follows. Firstly, I'm going to state the cost price. So if you are buying your car completely cash, congratulations. You just have to look at that grand amount. However, I know most of you do not have wads of cash lying around. So if you're going to be financing your vehicle, please bear in mind that when I'm calculating the monthly installment, the following has been considered. Your actual price might differ. It might be slightly higher or slightly lower depending on your credit history. So in my calculations, I I've used the following assumptions. Firstly, all of the cars are new and unused. Number two, I've assumed manual transmission for all of them, so no automatics. Number three, I've chosen the basic entry level vehicle. So there's no R-line kits or customizations or sunroofs. It is the most basic, cheapest car you can get from that range. Number four, I've assumed a prime rate of 11.75%, which is what it currently is in January 2024. And then I've added 2%. So basically, I'll be quoting at an interest of 13.75%. I've also assumed that you do not have a deposit and you do not have a balloon payment. Um, next, I've said that this vehicle is financed over six years, so 72 months. Um, and then this amount will include a registration fee of about 1,200 Rand. However, it does exclude your car insurance, tracker, service and maintenance plans, and all of those other extras. All right, coming in at number one is the Suzuki Espresso with a cost price of 174,900 Rand. And you're looking to pay a monthly installment of 3,674 Rand. At number two, we have the Datsun Go. So the Datsun actually falls under the Nissan brand. And that comes in at 179,000 Rand with the monthly installment of 3,758. At number three, we have the Suzuki Celerio. This is 188,900 Rand. And if you're looking to finance it, you'll be paying 3,960 Rand. At number four, we have the Toyota Vitz. This is currently at 189,900 Rand and an estimated monthly installment of 3,981. So I believe this is a new entry. It's a new car from Toyota. So keen to see a lot of people who will be driving these. Let us know how they treat you, just in case we're also looking. Number five, we have the Renault Quid. Coming in at 192,999 with a monthly installment of 4,044 Rand. Number six, we have the Suzuki Swift coming in at 205,900 Rand with an estimated monthly installment of 4,309 Rand. Number seven, we have the Toyota Agya, which is 210,400 Rand or you're looking at paying 4,401 Rand per month. Interestingly, when I was looking at the Toyota Agya, I could only actually find it in the Durban Toyota dealership, so I'm not sure if it's actually still nationally available. However, don't worry, I've also just inserted the Toyota Starlet if you're very keen on the Toyota brand. The Toyota Starlet is slightly more expensive. It's coming in at 252,100 Rand with the monthly installment of 5,255. 
And guys, when you're buying a car, there are so many things you need to take into account that sometimes the small yet crucial items like a tracker are at the back of your mind. I remember when I bought my first car in 2020, my dad introduced me to the car track brand that he'd been using for many years. Um, and I was like, if my dad can trust them with all of his many expensive vehicles, who am I with my little vehicle? So I went with them. I'm so glad I trusted my dad because even with my second car, I automatically chose CarTrack and I just want to send a shout out to the CarTrack team and thank them for sponsoring this video. I love working with brands that I actually use in my everyday life because I can bring my personalized feedback to you guys. So some of my favorite features about CarTrack, besides them actually tracking and retrieving your cars when in an emergency or hijacking. Apparently they also have like a recovery rate of greater than 90%. And this figure has been externally audited, so they're not just saying it. So basically, if your car goes missing, CarTrack is more likely to actually find your car. So don't stress, like relax. Anyways, that's not my favorite feature. My favorite feature is firstly the car watch feature. So I know some of you guys are in your corporate girly era and you're trying to get your fashion style up. So a lot of you might be going to small street to get your fashion bargains or as gens, you might enjoy chilling at your boy's gassi for that nice shisanyama. Whatever the case may be, just remember to always safeguard your assets, including your vehicle. Luckily, CarTrack has a feature called Car Watch that you can switch on. This feature notifies the CarTrack control room and tells them to place special care on your vehicle. So if there's any suspicious movement around your vehicle, or even if your vehicle is switched on, CarTrack will call you immediately and check if you're aware of such movement. I actually remember I once went to go do my nails at a questionable establishment and I switched on this feature because I was like, you know, I'm trying to save a hundred rand on my nails but I'm not trying to lose my car. But anyways, when I was done with my nails, uh, I went back to my car. I switched it on and before I could even put it in drive, I got a call. I obviously forgot to switch off the car watch feature. Got a call from car track and they're like, hey, someone's trying to move your car. I was like, oh my goodness, it's me, it's me. But I was also quite happy about this because I actually got a chance to test the feature. So it's not like I'm just switching it on for fun. I saw that it actually worked. Other perks to look out for relate to your insurance premium. So when you have a tracking device installed, your insurer is likely to reduce your premiums. This is because you've got an extra layer of security on your car. It's not just insurance. And when you consider the cost of losing your car, versus a car track premium, which is probably gonna cost you less than your next lunch. The choice is clear. Pricing starts from 99 Rand per month. However, head over to their website so you get to see the full picture. I do have the link in my description box, so make sure you click on that. And let's continue with the video. Oh, and before I forget, installation is free. The car track team will actually come to you wherever it's convenient for you. I remember when I got my second car, I was knee deep in busy season, so I did not have a chance to go get it installed. The car track team actually came and installed the tracking device at my office parking lot. And also guys, whilst I was preparing for this video, sorry, whilst I was preparing for this video, I realized it's a logbook feature. I haven't really been, you know, using that app because I'm like, whatever, I just go on there to see where my car is. But because I saw the logbook feature is there and you guys know I'm in business now, so I kind of need to know business kilometers versus personal kilometers. Um, so I will definitely be using that. And that's also going to help me during tax season because, you know, when I'm trying to claim back certain deductions, I can just make use of my logbook feature on car track. I don't have to document too much. I can just snap, snap, snap. And I have the reports ready. But anyways, don't say I don't put you on car track, putting you in control. Let's continue with the video and number eight we've got the Renault Tribber this is 224,999 with the monthly installment of 4,700 also from Renault if you're a brand person Renault Kigger this is 239,999 with the monthly installment of 5,007 Rand all right, at number nine, we have the Kia Picanto. This is 235,995. Or you're looking at paying a monthly installment of 4,925 Rand. And at number 10, we have the Hyundai Grand i10 at 239,500 Rand or a monthly installment of 4,997. All right, so that's your top 10. Not sure if you're happy with it. Not sure if your fave made the list or not, but don't worry. I do have a couple of extra cars that I did want to quote just for your interest. So there's the Mahindra XUV 300. So Mahindra has made quite a big comeback these last few months. It comes in at 267,999 or a monthly installment of 5,580. Cherry Tigo Pro 4. This is 279,900 Rand 
or you're looking at a monthly installment of 5,823 Rand. And then lastly, the Polo, the Polo Vivo, coming in at 259,400 Rand, or a monthly installment of 5,404 Rand. All right, cool. If your car didn't make the list, don't stress. Make sure you subscribe to this channel because next week I will be dropping my top 10 mid-luxury cars. So maybe your car will actually feature there. If you're still tuned in, drop a comment and let us know what your first car was and how it treated you. Or if you're still looking to buy your first car, drop a comment and let us know what you're looking at. And hopefully someone in the comments will be able to give you some form of advice or recommendation uh, relating to your car. Because at the end of the day, we're a community and we're all here to help one another. Cool. Alright guys, so now that we're done with the top 10 cars, some of the prices might be way out of your price range, but don't worry, I will give you alternatives, because you don't always have to be paying those amounts. So firstly, you don't have to get a brand new car, okay? Those are brand new cars, that's why they cost so much. You can get a demo car, a demo car is basically a car that's been used in the dealership where they use it for test drives or they just use it to showcase to other customers, uh, so this car counts as second hand, or you can actually just get a second hand. Number two. If the prime rate changes, so the interest rate that I used was prime plus two, if prime drops, which is the base, your installment will also drop. I know over the years, prime has actually just increased. I remember when I bought my first car, prime was around 7%, and now it's currently at 11.75. So a lot of people are not happy with the increase. In fact, some people have actually had to give back their cars and also give back some houses because of how much it has increased. So a lot of us are actually just hoping and praying that it does drop. Other ways of reducing the interest that you're charged is actually having a good credit record. So if you're not sure what this is, I did a video on this, so head over and check that out. Another option is if you're someone who left university and you didn't have much credit on your name, which is expected because you're a student, don't worry, we have a young professional's bank account and this really helps you because banks understand that you're a new person, you probably just entered the job market, so they kind of trust you and they give you a favorable rate. But I will also leave a link in my description box so that you can actually apply for your next young professional's bank account. Another way to lower your installment is to actually put up a deposit. So for your deposit to actually make sense, it usually has to be quite substantial. So putting in a deposit of like 10% or 20% of your vehicle might actually help reduce your monthly installment by a lot. So just play around with the finance calculator and see what actually makes sense. Next, others will also opt for a balloon payment, which basically means that at the end of your six years or at the end of the term of your car, you will pay a lump sum amount. So you're saying don't factor it into my monthly installment. However, I will pay in cash in one go at the end of the term. If you're not sure about what a balloon payment is or you're not sure if, you, if it's good or bad, check out another video I made about balloon payments. Obviously, guys, it is not recommended. This is not something you rush into. However, some people will find that they already have a balloon payment and now they're panicking. Don't worry. The video will cover what you can do about your balloon payment and how you can deal with it. Cool. Another option is you may have in-house financing from the dealership. So maybe if you go to Hyundai, they'll say, okay, we have Hyundai financing or VW or Ford financing, whatever brand you're going with. However, please be very careful and actually look at the deal you're about to sign because sometimes they can give you a very favorable monthly installment. So if I've quoted here and I've said, oh, a Polo is going to be 5,500, they can tell you, oh, don't worry, you only have to pay 3,500. If something sounds too good to be true, you need to investigate why. The reason some of these dealerships can offer you these great deals is because they play around with your financing. So just make sure you're aware of everything you're signing. Other way to get a low amount is to actually get an older model. So right now I've quoted you on 2023, 2024 vehicles. So if you're looking for like a 2019, 2020 vehicle, you might find that that is much cheaper because it is considered old. However, with these cars, you might not find them at your reputable dealerships. You might actually find them in smaller dealerships or like at on cars.co.za, Auto Trader, We Buy Cars, whatever the case may be. Just remember that when you're buying such cars, especially if they're secondhand, remember that you need to do so many inspections. There's so much more that you have to do when you're buying a second car from a company that cannot offer you any guarantee or warranty. So it's always advisable that you do take someone who is quite knowledgeable around cars just to make sure you're not making a bad purchase. Let me just give you my final parting tips. So firstly, fuel efficiency. Consider this, how efficient is the car because you might find a really affordable car but it chows a lot of petrol. Number two, always be flexible. So when you're buying a car, do not budget to the T. If your installment increases or decreases, 
be able to accept those changes number three also look at the replacement parts market if you can especially if you're buying a car that's not brand new and lastly please remember to enjoy the process this is your car it's your hard-earned money and do not allow people with their little comments about oh there's no boot space here or oh why this car not that car because chances are the person saying this has probably never bought a car in their life and if you're really serious about buying a car and you're still a bit anxious don't worry i've actually written a guidebook which covers every single step tips checklists all the things i wish i had when i bought my first car but anyways thank you so much for tuning in my name is nogutle kumalo and i have enjoyed this video i hope you have too and don't forget to check out the link in my description box get yourself a car track quote and see if you're joining the family like i have bye if you enjoyed this video please tip me with the like comment and subscription